When I first got in here, when we went into the hall, it was very dark, very dull, and it maybe could have been a little bit lower. And I thought the um, the the it was the atmosphere was very kind of tense, a bit dark and dull. Not that interested. Not a place I'd want to hang around. I thought it was rather interesting since I haven't been here before. I didn't know what it was going to be like, and it's actually it was better than I suspected. I've actually never been to this museum before. And I haven't been to a museum in actually years before, so I thought it was exciting when I came. I thought it was really boring and really like quiet. It's not a place I'd choose to go. I thought it was kind of boring. I don't think I'd enjoy it much really because um, I don't go to museums much, so I just thought it'd be normal and boring and sit in there doing nothing. Well, I was quite anxious and I didn't know what to think of it really because I've been here before but it's a museum and museums are a little bit, I don't know, not for kind of like, it seems like they're not for people like our age. I was just thinking really a museum, what are we doing here? Presenting the museum. That is really scary. Old fashioned library. Oh my god, look at his face. Look, I like this. It's like, it's like, it's like, I like this display. Old guy, old guy, old lady, old lady, old guy. I like this ex wait, wait, wait. exhibit. Right, it's nice and interesting. Quiet. Childhood. Oh, childhood, man. Look at the little baby dress. It smells like old in here. I think that's why teenagers don't like it. Ooh. This is what they used to wear. There's a little kid. And look how small my head is. Look at little baby. See, it gets to this bit, right, and it weirds me out. Look at that little bird just looking at something on its foot. Oh, wow. See, this bit's pretty cool. In it, it actually looks well cool. Well, these are sort of animal things. But it's kind of weird. Some more pots and stuff. See, this stuff doesn't really phase me. No, it's just a bit boring. Native Americans granted US citizenship, civil rights movement demands fair treatment of all Americans! Yes. But this is freaking me out. What is he doing? It's knitting made of paper. That's pretty good. That's pretty cool, actually. Television apparatus. Oh, so I think you had to look into this to watch TV. <laughs> what? I think you had to look into this to watch. But where's the telly? I think this whole thing is the telly. That's a telly? I think so. That's not what we call a telly. I think I have a better chance fitting in that than you. You can have it. I'm all right. <laughs> I have such a good wardrobe at home. I don't need that. If it had a Ralph sign on it, then yeah, I'd wear it. Here we are, on a balcony. Look down there, look at this amazing view. Libby, talk about how you feel about being here. I feel... Yeah. <laughs> and I love the wood as well. The wood, look oh, at this look at wood. This I reckon it's hand carved. Look. Is that a banana? No, it's not a banana. That is, I think we can confirm that that yeah. is not a banana. Oh look, it's Indian, an Indian on a cow horse that we've now named a course. Or a how. Or a how. Ooh. Oh my god, it looks really scary in here and cool. Oh! Look, Libby. They're, they're all dead. They're birds. They're dead. They've been stuffed. I know. Look, it's like a pond, but not a pond. That duck is looking at me. The carpet's really nice. I like the carpet. Oh my god, it's an alligator That's in a nice. box. A pterodactyl. I'm just gonna go ahead and push this big red button. It's not gonna do anything. Oh. <laughs> it did do something. <gasps> it did do something. Oh. Oh my god. This is insane. I am mind blown. So, what do you think of the lion head? It looks pretty decent. What about that chandelier hanging from the ceiling? Pretty big. What about this? 
lady standing in a dress. Don't know who she is, but. I think museums are boring, old, and I've never had that much interest in them. I think they're more of a place for little kids and old people. I think the museum could be more interesting if there was more interactive things. I feel like that would make um, people my age more interested in the museum. In general, I think teenagers as an age group wouldn't find museums interesting and wouldn't want to go on an outing to them. I feel that people could change the way teenagers feel about me museums by having activities and games to engage us, such as actors and computers. Yay! This morning, we felt like the museum would be boring and old. Museums usually have nothing interesting because teenagers usually don't find history interesting and would like to look at different things. Most teenagers would rather go somewhere like the cinema or to go shopping. But now we've explored the museum and it is actually interesting. I like the room where we first meet because it's quite relaxing and calming and it, it's kind of like helps you think about things when you're having the powwow and it just helps to bring it down and chill out and everything. I can feel the wood on my fingertips and the breath from everyone around me. I can taste bubbles, champagne in the air, if only I had a glass but no one can see me. I can see a new beginning, a new life, between two people together, they look really happy. I can hear laughter and crying, both from happiness. I can smell cake, fresh and sweet. I think the Native American part's probably been my favourite part because I've always loved to know how America was just made and... How, what, how they used to live and stuff like that and what they used to do for themselves. <gasps> I want one of these necklaces, that's so cool. The I'd love to be a Red Indian. The collection I've chosen is a Blackmore collection because I like all of the um, stuff that they used to wear, like the Native Americans, and they were made out of eagle claws and there's like a bag made out of parts from a buffalo and the small beaded uh, cases that they could use for special stuff. I wake up every morning to the sounds of horses running and waiting for my next kill. I can hear the running coming closer and know it's time. I feel the bones of the animal crunching under my force. I taste the blood of the animal I've just killed. I know I've done a good job. I smell the fire of burning and hear the tribe chanting my master. I know I have done something bad. Uh, I like the taxidermy room because you can see animals that you don't really see normally and you can see all the different features of them. The stuffed animals, because it's like, nice to see them really up close because like, you see animals like, in the sky and everything and you can't like, look at them. And then when they're like right in front of you, you can pop a look at them. Uh, definitely the grey owl exhibit, because I really like uh, it sh showing all of grey owl's clothes and weapons, and the DVD explains him really well. I think a grey owl was probably one of the best tribals of all time. If you look there, you can see a lot of his equipment. A lot of books have been written about him, and I think that he is a spectacular story. Um, my favourite object has been the Indian headdress. It's very nice. It's Libby, our expert for today. Hello. As you can see, I'm standing here right next to this magnificent hadonator. It was used by the Indians as a hat because they believed it gave them special powers to fly because it has feathers. I am placed upon a sweaty head to show power. I sit and wait while watching the opposition ready themselves for battle. All of a sudden, the stillness turns into motion and I am moving forward. As the battle rages on, I am ruggedly tossed about and onto the ground, trampled upon and ignored. When the battle is over, I still lie alone and motionless on the floor, forgotten. Hello guys, my name is Rodda and I'm here to tell you today about this amazing piece of pottery. Here, it's, it's very beautiful, don't you think? I have studied it for many years at Oxford University. I don't know about the pottery as well, 
because there was like loads of pottery stuff made in like the 18th century and stuff. I started off with a pile of white clay in 1894. I was picked up and torn apart, then sculpted into a beautiful basket after I was placed to be green. I lived in the cabinet in like the museum. I live with other clay models, but because I was so small, I don't, I like, don't can't hear so well. So I can only understand a little bit. I can't see that well either, but I think the other clay models keep making fun of me because I, I see them look at me and then start talking. The dinosaurs were also known as giant lizards. They ruled the earth before us. It's amazing how long these fossils could have survived under the earth. Uh, I like the dinosaur exhibit because there's lots of interactive stuff you can do, like the sandbox. A dinosaur egg? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to tell you that I like this part of the museum. It makes me think about what life was like millions of years ago. Like, what happened right this second, a million years ago? This is one of my favourite parts of this exhibit. The time box. It goes on forever, forever, forever. This yellow peg represents one million years. Press the button and count back to the time of the dinosaurs. But you know, you couldn't really count back to the time of the dinosaurs because it was so many years ago. It was hot. I could feel the sweat. I was steaming up. I was sticking to her body. I could smell the salty sea air. I started to move towards the sea. It was just the right temperature. I was soaking. It was cool and nice. I felt relaxed. She took me off and flung me in the bottom of her bag. Forgotten. Three weeks of boring conversations. God, I stink. Suddenly, I see the light. I feel the breeze on my swimming costume skin. Hear the birds and taste the washing powder. Bath time. I'd say I'd have to be one of the swords because it, it reminds me of my granddad. Oh, and here we, here we go with the samurais with some hench spear things. That's and we've got the katanas right here and we got him looking like a total badass. You get to hold like some like artifact or like like we did earlier where we looked around and then uh, we could feel and like look at the all the up close. People like that work in the museum could take the objects, some of the objects from the museum to the schools maybe in like history lessons. Music being played. Like adding music for like the exhibit. <laughs> Trails and treasure hunts. We would like an interesting trail. There should be a prize at the end or a surprise. There should be no answers at the back. Actors and interaction. We think there should be actors around the museum. This will be easier to relate to and a lot more interactive. Or maybe even a voice actor. When you press the button, you would hear someone talking about the room or an object. If you put like more sort of documentary movie things, so like. There's TVs there, like there's actors, and then they tell you how they lived in the movie sort of thing. Making things clear. We need a clear, detailed explanation on every object. It needs to say about the object, where it's from, about its history, and what it's used for. Dressing up them. Um... It would be great if we had lots of different costumes from around different times that we could dress up in and mess around in and take photos. Theme nights and sleepovers. We should have a day where the museum would let groups of people stay the night. They would let us explore some of the exhibits and do some fun activities like hide and seek or ghost adventuring and watch movies about the war or some of the Native Americans. A mobile museum. We think it would be a good idea to take different objects from the museum to us in school to help us learn about things in more detail and to be able to handle them bringing our lessons to life. This might encourage us to come to the museum to see more. Free booklet to keep. We would love a free booklet to take home to remind us of our visit to the museum. Made to feel really welcome. Staff being friendly and available, helping us and answering any questions we may have. Some younger staff and volunteers. 
Yeah, it's just been great. It's a great experience and I'd happily come here again. This museum's been really good. I've never been here before and I found it really fun. I thought it was good, like, going around here, like, looking at all the stuff and talking about it. It's just different being here. Like, it's nice to... Because I haven't actually been in a museum for, like, this long, so it's nice to just be able to be in a museum and, like, study different things. Just as fun and good.